Hello, and welcome to the Corpus Linguistics Workshop with Dr. Barami Kiyowishai. Today, we will look at how to load your corpus into Ankong version 4.0.11. This version allows you to keep your corpus in the corpus library in Ankong. There are two ways to load your corpus. One, creating a quick corpus, and two, loading your corpus through the corpus manager function. As for the first method, you can click on the file tab on the top left of the screen, then select open files as quick corpus. Next, you will have to select corpus file. This version can process plain text, Microsoft Word, and even PDF files. Once the files are selected, the corpus is ready for use. Here is ready. Now this corpus will be stored on Ankong under the name Temp. It's temporary, and if you load a new corpus, they will just disappear, so it's not very practical. Now, the second way to upload your corpus into Ankong is through the Corpus Manager. So here you can upload and name your corpus on Ankong Corpus Library. To do this, click on the File tab and select Open Corpus Manager. A new window shows you the Corpus Library stored in Ankong. There are pre-built corpora, the American English 2006 and the British English 2006. You can get some information about the corpus by double-clicking on the name of the corpus and the information will be shown on the left. You can upload your corpus into the user corpus library by selecting raw files in the top left column. Then on the right, select add files and then select the file. Then you have to name your corpus. And I'll name it WHO speech on COVID-19. And then select create. Now that the corpus is created, it is ready for use. Okay, some information is provided on the left uh, box here. Okay, to use this, you can uh, click on the tab okay, at the bottom of the screen here, okay, which uh, is returning to uh, the Ankong software. Okay. Now your corpus is ready for use. Okay, all the files are loaded here. Okay, so the advantage of this version is that you can clear all the tools and file. Okay, clear all tools and files. Mm -hmm. But then the corpus will be here if you check in uh, the uh, corpus library. Okay, you can see that your corpus is in the user corpus library on the bottom right of the screen, right, like this. So you can choose this corpus and then work on it again, okay? So that's very practical indeed, all right? So you don't have to search for the files on the computer again and again, all right? So that's it for this video. Now you know how to upload your corpus into Ankong version 4.0.11. In my next video, we will explore how to use other functions. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Goodbye.